Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> okay. So and Maggie, we're back. So what I specifically want to talk about is college campuses and politics. So we generally go to, I guess, not cons- we, we could say conservative school, you know, Catholic college, uh, yeah, but yes. not everybody is necessarily conservative, and we don't really have to learn Catholicism. But I would say that it's generally more accepting of diverse opinions rather than a different, you know, maybe more a liberal college. Okay. And, um... So there was an incident at Emory College when there was chalk written in Trump 2016, and people were so triggered by these words, just the chalk. And it said Trump 2016. It said Trump, that's it. And they got emergency counseling. <laughs> you can't make this rich, stuff up. Little... Like, I, I, really, like, I think that you... people are taking like all of this like... Too like crazy too far. But this has been happening for a while and you know, I guess just election season now that's coming up. Yeah. They're making it more obvious to the media. But you know, the media's been covering this for a while. You know, yeah. they create safe spaces and different colleges, you know, people will hear a conservative speaker and they will actually have to go get counseling after it. And it's like it's what is the purpose of education at that point? The purpose of education is to explain expand your horizons, think go into school what you what you think you know and be tested on with the strongest argument on the other side and if what you still think stands then you can be confident yeah. and in a place where everything is triggering you know everything's problem problematic like and you're you're insinuating that people have these mean crazy ideas and you can't listen to them it's actually really 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 dangerous in a free society and the authoritarians on the left are ruining it and you know people are not they're like tr- they're like not every liberal is like that, and not every yeah. conservative is a Bible wagon weirdo. Yeah. But <laughs> there's two extremes on both weirdo. sides, and what you have to, like, people have to understand is let people speak, and if you don't yeah. like it, you could go peacefully protest, that is your first amendment right, but you cannot try to silence other people from yeah. speaking, and that is yeah. what they are doing with the Trump rallies, and the media, I think, would cover it a lot differently yeah, if think- Trump supporters went to Bernie's su- rallies and did the same exact thing yeah i think that the media definitely has a bias like not just a bias but there's so many like Agenda. different there's so, yeah there's so <laughs> many, like especially with like i know that like celebrities are like putting stuff on like their instagrams and their twitters and stuff which i think is like not a good idea because with they're, uh, they're public figures and then people look at them and think like oh i want to be like you know exactly Kim Kardashian. she's putting up pictures with her and hillary clinton i mean yeah. i don't have i'm not you know, I you don't, don't know who I'm voting for, or anything like that. But I just think that, like, even if you do want that person as your pres as the president, you shouldn't be putting it on Ex- social media. When you have that people- much influence on society, yeah. you should. I don't want to say don't engage in politics, but no, definitely. Like, you can like you know like you have your Twitter and it's about politics and stuff, but like yeah. you don't. You're not. I don't. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. I know that Chelsea. I don't know. Yeah, and Chelsea, Chelsea Handler. Handler yeah. She put up a um. She's like has her own show or something, and she put up something on Twitter like of her like back yeah. naked and said yeah. like Donald Trump is a, like a butthole, no, or something, see, which I think is absolutely ridiculous because like that's giving people thinking like oh like we should think like her like we're yeah. not gonna vote for Donald Trump that's not like fair. If and celebrities versa, had like, like a Hillary, diverse, whatever. if celebrities had diverse opinions, I would say you know engage in politics because there's you know different sides of the pol- political spectrum on both sides, but it's really just a liberal bias and they have brainwashed our generation especially social media you know maybe our friends don't hate trump but social media hates trump or social media hates ted cruz and they love hillary or they're they're not really like that big fan of hillary either but they love bernie so you know there's and it's there's influencing through these things and there's brainwashing and we're not winning the national conversation because i'm i'm a libertarian i say and i'm way more right than i am left so what i have to what i say about this stuff is you know you're not winning the national conversation ted cruz agreeing with the democrats and going against trump he's just fueling the fire for them you know if the republicans went after obama the way they're going after trump mccain or mitt romney would have won the election Uh, no i think that's true i think that obviously people can talk about it i've heard multiple people say um, this like you know on twitter and instagram stuff but you're when you're putting up stuff like like writing on your back saying Donald Trump is a butthole. I just think that is like <laughs> it's, it's and even if it was like the opposite, saying like if it, even if it said like Hillary Clinton is a butt, like they're I just think in it's like, bed with the. It's, I just think it's I, like like ridiculous this, because it's not like it's giving yeah. people like a it, way of and thinking. And they don't know. 
about it's, politics. Most of them don't even know anything. And they're just, like, Kim Kardashian. I would love I to mean, have I a debate with Kim that. Kardashian. I would love to know what she knows about politics because yeah, but, she probably I, knows nothing. Wait, but I mean, like, it's not like, maybe they do know stuff, like, whatever, opinion. but I don't think it's No, I don't think Kim Kardashian right knows for anything. everyone. I mean, you can, like, you know, vote her for you who you want to. I mean, I don't really... Yeah, I'm not. I don't know if I want. I don't know who I'm voting for. It's our culture, though. We live in a very, yeah. Um, we live in a very, yeah. We could say like politically correct culture. You know, authoritarian culture where we're not really allowed to have different opinions. And like you, you, I'm talking about majority of like I'm talking about culture in general. Obviously, that's not every single individual, but a big chunk of them, which is like dominating our Silicon Valley, is dominated with liberal influence where um they're actually shadow banning on twitter and if they twitter's actually admitted to it where basically like if they if you say something that's maybe like more conservative or like just different from what they see people won't see it on their timeline if they follow you and we know this is happening it's yeah. like a true thing i've been talking about this for a while and you know twitter has first amendment like freedom of speech is from the government like you know like uh twitter is a company like we don't they don't necessarily like need a grant first amendment rights but be honest about it you know they're like lying about yeah. it they're saying like no we don't do that blah 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 blah, blah. just like say like you know if you're conservative you're probably gonna get banned blah 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 or whatever and they're not really being honest about it but you're right about the hollywood and the hollywood bias and you know vince vaughn is a conservative and there's adam sandler but like there's really not many other than that and it's um i don't know i think even if like whatever you are you shouldn't like bash on the other party i mean like you don't want um, them like say what is like his name? Arnold if you don't want Bunker? it it's fine but no shouldn't. and but this is what you know bullies do like uh, on these college campuses pro, you know they don't want to engage in a real argument with you so they choose just to you know maybe like throw a character assessment at you like say you're racist you're a bigot you're misogynist and they do that so you automatically just lose your credibility so yeah. so once they say that, oh well you have no credibility, so I'm not I don't have to actually really argue with you. And it's like once you actually try to argue, like people like you know, all politics aside, like this show, I really just like I'm interested in the culture aspect of it. You don't have to be voting Trump, you could be voting for Hillary. But I hope if you're a Hillary supporter, you believe in my first amendment right and you 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 have no problem with what I with my opinions because I'm actually a really patient person. If you, like, wanted to talk and, like, you were a reasonable person, you're like, I get your side, but this, this is my argument, and they start talking, that's great. But the minute people start getting crazy and, like, they don't know anything, Trump's a racist. Well, why is he racist? Because he is. Why? There's no substance there. That's not an argument, and I'm not going to even continue engaging with you because I, it's actually, like, quite frankly, a really big waste of my time. <laughs> but, um... Uh, well get more into we're that. we're more <laughs> lucky to be living we're at a, a college that you can vote for whoever you want nobody really cares <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's not really a politically charged school um so yeah uh i guess we'll come back in a few minutes talk about more entertainment okay. and stuff